right, let's look at some more techniques for solving equations. So sometimes when factoring doesn't work, um, trig identities could be useful. Um, because the angles don't match, I can't really factor or combine these. So this is not like 2 sine x or 3 sine x. Um, you can't factor out a sine x. These are just two totally different functions, having the 2x and the x. Um, so I'm going to try to use an identity to get rid of 2x. So you could look back to a couple sections ago, um, but sine of 2x was the same as 2 sine x cosine x. And then plus sine x equals 0. Um, and this is better. We want the angles to match. So now they're all x, which will make um, factoring easier. So in this case, now I can factor out sine x because they're both sine of x. They're not sine of 2x and sine of x. They're the same function. So we can factor a sine of x out, and we're left with 2 cosine x, and then plus 1, right? When nothing's left over, it's a 1. And we can solve this, right? It's equal to 0, so each factor equals 0. So sine of x equals 0, or 2 cosine x plus 1 equals 0. So just like um, in algebra, right, when you had two factors, you could say... As long as the other side is 0, you can do this. So when does sine equal 0? So sine is the y value, so it'll be 0 here and here. So at 0 and pi. So we can say 0 plus 2 pi k, and we could say pi plus 2 pi k. Um, we do get a special property here, though, because we get plus pi, plus pi, plus pi, plus pi. So we can actually change this to 0 plus pi k, or pi k. So this is a special property only when you get 0 and pi, because they're exactly pi apart. And this will just consider all the different ways of landing there. All right, so then we get 2 cosine of x is negative 1. So cosine of x is negative 1 half. So cosine is my x value, so negative 1 half will be on the left side. So we'll get two angles. Um, 1 half was pi over 3, so this will be 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. And then both of these will be plus 2 pi k. And then you can't combine them because they're different distances, right? These distances aren't the same. So combining them was a special case only for 0 and pi. So we're going to have three solutions again. So let's try another one. Um, another one that has the same issue, right? Cosine of 2 theta. So it's really not nice to have different angles. So we, we'll use an identity again. Um, you'll notice there's more than one identity. Um, and they all work. I'm kind of leaning towards using cosine of 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Um, I like that one because I noticed there's a sine squared, so it'd be nice to have like similar functions. Might be easier to solve. The other ones will probably work, but this is the one that caught my eye. So we'll say 1 minus 2 sine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. And so again, I chose this one because I thought it would be nice to maybe combine those. So 1 minus sine squared theta equals 1, and we can subtract 1. So negative sine squared equals 0, which is just when sine equals 0. So we actually just did this one. When does sine equal 0? At 0 and pi. So it could be 0, it could be pi, um, it could be 2 pi, it could be 3 pi, right? And so that pi k takes care of all the possible solutions. OK, 
case, an integer. Right, negative would be negative pi, negative 2 pi, all that stuff. All right, this is probably a good stopping point for this video.